Okay, let's take a look at some flash action examples. So I'm going to go into my gallery here, and I'm going to select my globe swift, and I'm going to move this on my stage here and size it up a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. You'll notice that in the gallery there's an accompanying text file, and if you double click it, you'll open it up in your text editor, and you'll notice that it gives you a couple names for the values that you can change and some examples of how you can set it. So for example here we have the message and the URL. And these are the values within Flash which pertain to the interactivity of this particular movie. So let's go ahead and just do an example here and it'll become self-explanatory. For example, message. Okay. So let's go ahead here and we'll double click on our page and in the on show event we'll click add action and from the Flash category we'll go ahead and choose set Flash variable. The object name is Flash1, of course. That's the only one on the page so we'll just leave that selected. The Flash variable name as we remember here from our text file is message and here we can set the value so we're just going to go ahead and set a value here we'll say my text around the world and we'll go ahead and press finish we'll press OK and then we'll go ahead and preview our movie by pressing F5 now you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of text circling around the globe and it's the text that we set so by setting the value inside our autoplay application, we pass that value to our flash file. Okay? Now, we can take this one step further if we want, and we can if we go back to our text file for example here, and we can set a link and it's called the URL. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go back to my page area here where I set this first value here, and I'm going to go ahead and set another flash variable called the URL. So I'll click on add action. I'll choose flash, set flash variable. I'm going to leave the object name the same, but I'm going to go ahead and change this to the URL. Okay? I'm just going to make sure I type that right by going back to our text file, and it is indeed. You've got to make sure that you get the case right, uppercase, lowercase. Okay? And the value here, we're going to set to www.indigorose.com. Okay. I'm going to press finish, then I'm going to press OK, and we'll preview our project by pressing F5. Now we're going to get the same text going around the globe there that we set. And additionally, when we click on this, it's going to be a link to our website. You'll see here that our browser window is going to pop up and it's going to find our website. So we set that link by setting that variable value. Again, just to prove that, we could go close these down, we could go back to the page area here and change this from indigorose.com to google.com press OK press F5 to preview it and you'll notice now when I click on it instead of taking us to indigorose.com it takes us to google.com so that's how you use flash set variable to set the value of a variable now let's go ahead and check out the flash get variable. So I'm going to move my flash movie up a bit here. I'm just going to add a button to my page, okay? I'll move this down here. Oops. Forgot to select the button. So I'll just go ahead and choose this one. And I'm going to put it down here and now we'll add an action to this button. In the actions panel, in the on click area, I'll choose the add action button and from the flash category, I'm going to choose get flash variable. Okay, so I'm going to double click that and you'll see here that it's going to return the value of whatever, whatever variable we set here into a variable called result. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the URL and press finish and press OK. Now whenever we click that button it's going to go ahead and retrieve that value, right? Now we need some way to see that value so let's go ahead and set the value into the Flash movie as the text. Okay, so we'll actually add another action, and now we're going to use the flash set flash variable action, and we're going to set the value of the variable message, and we're going to set it to the value that we just retrieved from the movie, which was the URL. Okay, so just to explain this so it doesn't get complicated, when we click this button, it's going to use a flash get flash variable action to retrieve the value of that link that we embedded into that flash movie with our page action. 
and then it's going to take that value and it's going to apply it to the text that's circling around that globe. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press F5 to preview our project. Now let's take a look at the result. Okay, so we've got our page actions going to work first and you can see we've got our text going around the globe and of course we've got our link. If we click on it, it's going to take us to Google, right? But now if we click this button, it's actually going to retrieve that link value and install it into the text here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that the text here changes from my text is going around the world to our link value. So it's pretty powerful stuff and it might seem a little bit complicated but I'm sure if you follow along the example and just try it out a couple times you'll understand it right away and of course you can always come to the forum and ask questions about that anytime you want. Now we're going to go into a special second part of this Action Examples movie for the Flash Object chapter and we're going to take a look at the transport actions.